Hey everyone, this is Adnan with Channel Trending Videos. In this video, I'm going to show you what is uh, account lockout group policy and how it is configured. The account lockout group policy is a policy in which, uh, in which when a user attempts to log in with their own password, the account will be locked out. So user is sitting right here. So, uh, so user trying to log on to this computer with wrong password. So normally it's, it's the same way when when we uh, go to a ATM machine and we try to put in wrong pin numbers, our, our, our ATM cards get locked out. So account lockout policy is for the same purpose. Normally account lockout policy is disabled within our domain. It works whenever we enable the policy. So let me show you where that is. So first of all, you need to go onto your server 2012. Within server 2012, open uh, server manager. From server manager, you're going to open uh, GPM, group policy management. From group policy management, we're going to go again into a default domain policy. So the account locker policy start of default domain policy. Right click, add it. And if you go into the computer under computer configuration policies, window settings, under Windows settings, you need to go to security settings. And within security settings, there is something called uh, in, uh, actually in account policies, account lockout policy. Now within account lockout policy, uh, we can go in here and it says that account lockout duration is not defined account lockout threshold is not defined, and then uh, reset account lockout counter is not defined. None of them is working. Let me first go here and try uh, log off. I'm going to log off. And I'm going to try and log in with wrong password. Let's see. Let's get locked out. <coughs> so here, I'm going to go here and try wrong password. So one. And two, and three, and four. So since there is no lockout policy, uh, it, uh, it, it won't lock out the account. And as soon as if I enter a wrong, a right password, which is this, I can log in. So I'm able to log in. Now, let's go and apply account lockout policy. First of all, lockout threshold. So for how many times uh, would you want to allow user to try uh, with the password? So let's say three times, just like in bank card. So in ATM machine, so I'm going to say here. And here it's saying once you set this up, this has to be set up as well. And the uh, default is uh, the just the setting is 30 minutes. So let's go here. As soon as you set up three, 30 minutes and 30 minutes there. Now this is saying that uh, first one, if the user enters three wrong passwords, the account will be locked out and locked out duration will be 30 minutes. Now if this 30 minutes, so meaning after 30 minutes, the account can be automatically unlocked, uh, will be automatically unlocked. But during that time, if the user cannot wait for 30 minutes, the user can always call the help desk. And, uh, <clears throat> and Active Directory admin can go into the user account and unlock the account. For example, if uh, the account is locked out, uh, Active Directory admin can always go to tools and account users, Active Directory users and computers and find the user and go into the property of the user, go to account, and here user can unlock the account. Okay, so this can be done. But if user can wait for 30 minutes and there, or maybe they're not able to reach the help desk, uh, they are driving, they are uh, somewhere else, uh, account will be automatically locked out in 30 minutes. And the second 30 minutes reset account lockout counter after 30 minutes. So this is like within one 30 minutes, if the user locks again within 30 minutes, then uh, uh, so, so then the account won't be unlocked within 30 minutes. So let's say 
your account is just logged out now and in uh, within 30 minutes it was unlocked and then account is again logged out uh, in a few minutes if the account is again logged out and if the account is logged out uh, by the admin in next two minutes and the account is again logged out within 30 minutes account won't be unlocked automatically uh, within the 30 minutes duration so let's try that out so I just change the settings let's apply the policy once the policy is applied how do you apply the policy since it is a computer policy either I restart or I can say GP update once you say GP update I'm gonna open I'm gonna open GP uh, CMD. Once CMD is open, and I can now so GP update is going on here. It is applied, and now here I just want to see account and here it won't show. Yeah, here it's saying the lockout. So now the lockout threshold is set to three and the loss of duration is 30. Now let's try that. So the policy is applied. Let's log off. <coughs> and try three wrong contact. So now, control alt delete. One, two, three, account is locked out so you're saying the reference account is locked out now account won't log in it's saying the account is locked out it can be automatically unlocked in 30 minutes or uh, let's say the user calls the help desk and help desk picks up the phone and they say okay uh, they need to unlock the account they would open active as users and computers and they would ask the user the username for example I'm here but if they need to find out the user you can go to domain and then search for the user so I'm gonna say Mike Adams and -E -A -M -F, Adams and find user the user is here right click on user properties and within properties they can go to account and here it says unlock the account is currently locked out so in order to unlock the account they can just say unlock and apply and as soon as it is unlocked as soon as it is unlocked you can ask the user to try now so user can try with the correct password and user can lock in so this is how the logon policy works we can unlock the account manually right from active directory or we can wait for 30 minutes for account to be unlocked so this is about account lockout group policy. Uh, now, uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you some other examples of group policy. Thank you for watching this video, and I'm going to see you in the next video.